what's up it's time for mask monday like we do every monday night it gets put up tuesday morning i am going to do a face mask and i didn't wear very much i didn't wear anything my eyebrows today i didn't wear very much um makeup today so this part should be pretty easy actually all of today should be pretty easy because the mask is a very short one you only do it for two to three minutes i think um, but yeah, so I'm using this kind of really crappy makeup remover from like Safeway brand. Um, planning on getting rid of it, but it's just like, it does, I, I wasn't wearing eyeliner today, but when I'm wearing eyeliner, it's absolutely impossible. So yeah. Gonna wash my face really quick with my Coal Face from Lush. This is one of my favorite cleansers. Definitely my favorite cleanser from Lush. Um, it's just really good for oily skin, for spot prone skin, which is exactly what I have. If you can see, I am breaking out right all over like this right now. I don't really know why actually. Um, I don't know why I'm breaking out, but I haven't really changed anything really recently. Um, I have incorporated a few new samples, you know, for my sample challenges and stuff. So I just lather that up in my hands and I get about that much. And then I just turn the water off because that's wasting water. But yeah, just wash my face real quick. Isn't it like, I don't know, I feel like it's weird to me that like before I had a really good face routine, like washing my face routine, I used to think washing my face was like such a huge chore and I hated doing it and I never wanted to do it. Um, yeah, but now I love washing my face every night and if I like accidentally I'm laying in bed and I've realized I forgot to wash my face, I'm like, ugh. I need to wash my face. <laughs> I hop out of bed and <laughs> run over to wash my face. Um, but yeah, the mask we are doing today is Aqua Reveal Satin Bright Soft Water Peel for Face. All skin types smooths, brightens, and exfoliates. The directions say, after cleansing and rinsing the face with water, put pat skin dry with towel. Massage gel onto skin um, to release dead skin cells. Rinse thoroughly with water. Follow your regular skin care routine. Use two to three times a week as needed. So it actually doesn't say how long you're supposed to keep it on. So I'm going to keep it on for about five minutes. Um, since. Oh, do you think this is one that actually peels? Because it's more sticky, which is usually the ones that actually, like, peel off of your face. No, because it said rinse. Never mind. I changed my mind. I don't think it's going to be one of those. Oh, I got it on my lip. Um, yeah, it smells very like fake watery, like if you have like a scent from like Bath and Body Works that says that it's um, like water, like beach scented or something, this is like kind of what that smells like, mixed with like a plasticky smell, so that's great, just rubbing some plastic on my face, um, yeah, so what did you guys do this weekend? Well, my husband's back. I see back. Anyways, what did you guys do this weekend? This weekend, we went through all of our clothes and got rid of a ton of them. That video is going to be up probably in a week or two. Um, we got rid of so much stuff. It's actually ridiculous. Um, what else did we do? Oh, well, Thursday was our anniversary of us um, like meeting and starting to date because on the day we met, we... Um, became boyfriend and girlfriend <laughs> because we had been talking online for like six months um, and texting and stuff because we met on Tumblr. That's a whole different story. Um, but yeah, so Thursday was her anniversary. So we... What? Do you need to come in? Yeah, come in. I'll just put it in the video. Just I'm just going to put it in the video. 
Oh, um, okay. So anyways, Thursday was our anniversary, th three year anniversary of when we met, and um, we went to the melting pot, which seems to be like where we always go for special occasions. Um, and then we, what else did we do? Oh, and then Friday night, we had a sleepover on our balcony, which is so much fun. Pretty much what we did, we blew up a blow up mattress, and um, like, put it out on the balcony, like, moved all of our balcony furniture, and then, like, put up a sheet on it, and then a blanket, and we watched Prison Break, which is the new show that we've been watching, it's an old show, but it's the sh it's new to us, because we just started watching it, um, and we watched TV, and slept it on the balcony, and it was so much fun, because it was just, like, being camping, <laughs> except we're not, <laughs> but, yeah, that was really fun, um, it was really awesome, I want to do it again, but, Soon it's going to be getting too hot to do that. Right now it's like the perfect temperature because it, it drops to be pretty like nice at, um, at nighttime. But in the daytime it's really hot still. So, yeah. And then today, well, like Friday we decided that we were going to stop. We were going to be vegan. So, like, that's, like, I don't know, kind of crazy. And then today, like, I don't know, we were, like, kind of, like, thinking about it mm -hmm and hawing about it. Um, and, like, just pretty much wanting to do it for, like, health reasons and losing weight reasons and stuff like that. But we watched Cowspiracy and today, which I recommend like everybody to watch, even if you aren't interested in becoming vegan. It's just so eye-opening to know about how the environment is impacted because of agriculture and stuff. It's so crazy. It's stuff that you like. I've never even like had heard about before. I heard about the sh the movie Cowspiracy, and it's on Netflix, and it's only an hour and a half. Well, my phone's telling me it's about to die. Um, but yeah, everybody should go watch Cowspiracy. It's crazy. You will be like, oh my god, like, it's just so crazy how much resources are being used up by like farming. But yeah, so then we like just now like today we're like D we should do this for real we should do this like not as like a diet we should do this as like our life <laughs> so I guess that that's that's the plan for now um ugh, such a good movie and it's not overly like sick like how be in movies or like movies about like farming usually are where they show all the like guts and gore and nasty stuff. This really only had one real part where it was really gross. Um, and it was really quick. So, yeah, if you have, like, if you want to watch something like a documentary, and Leonardo DiCaprio is the producer, and it's, like, kind of what he believes in. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Um, so, you guys should go watch that movie because it's crazy. It's, like, all I can think about right now. Um, this, um, packaging, I don't know very much about this company. All I know is I got it from Birchbox because I think all my samples are from Birchbox now. I think I've probably used all my old Ipsy ones. Um, first, uh, first ingredient is water, then glycerin, which is like soap, I think. Um, citrus Lucas, which says orange fruit water. Um... Lots of things I can't pronounce. So that's not that interesting. But, yeah, so it's kind of drying, kind of not. It's more like a gloss right now. But I'm going to wash it off. And we'll see if um, smooth brightening and exfoliating happens. It has to be chemical exfoliating because this is very smooth. This is not a real, like, scrub kind of exfoliate, you know. But anyways, last week's mask... Um, I didn't notice anything very dramatic with like my fine lines or wrinkles which is what it was supposed to do like it has some really like intense claims online um so I really wouldn't recommend last week's masks mask and that was like an $80 mask I think so yeah no don't buy that one unless you have like I don't know unless you're like already very like wrinkly and you like I don't know go online and research it a little bit better than I did because it did have really good like before and afters of people who were pretty wrinkly and then like their afters were like kind of looked like they had, had gotten a facelift but 
for someone who's just kind of more for like anti-aging like or like preventative aging kind of stuff like trying to not get wrinkles I only have like smile wrinkles you know um I wouldn't suggest that Rolo Rolox and Lift or whatever it was called okay this is kind of weird when I wash it off it's balling up I wonder if I was actually supposed to peel this off maybe I'll do this one again next week for next week's video and try and leave it on and try and peel it and research it a little bit more because I might have just messed it up <sighs> okay so now the mask is all off some of it's my hair but I'm probably gonna take a shower right after this um, going in with my super goop anti-aging eye cream um, this is a sample for my sample series that I do um, <clears throat> Yeah, I just started using this. I don't have any reviews for it yet. Although I did get a pimple on this eye and a star on this eye. So we're going to hope that that's not having to do with that. We're going to try it out for a couple more days. And if I continue to have issues, then... Um, and I have a pimple up here. I'm like breaking it all around my eyes. Now that I think about it. That's scary. Um, I can't get this one open had to enlist the help of my husband for opening my moisturizer tonight for some reason. Um, what else did I forget? I'm going to use a little bit of my seaweed night clarifying night treatment, which is for blackheads. I'm only going to put it on my nose and chin where I get blackheads because I'm almost done with this and I don't know if they make it anymore. So that's really sad. I take a little bit of my Enzymian from Lush, just looks like that, oh, like that. <clears throat> and just pat it into my face and call it a night. I love this stuff. It kind of smells like cocoa butter or chocolate, kind of. Both, kind of. Got it on my lip. Um, yeah, it's really good. Good stuff. Okay guys, so that concludes today's Face Mask Monday. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys did this weekend. Let's have a little conversation. I want to talk to you down there. Um, and if you've seen that Cowspiracy movie, like we should talk about it because I just like mind blown about it. Um, and also if you recommend any other like <sighs> movies in that genre, let me know because I really want to watch them too. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.